I am only one. I am only one. But I am one. But I am one. I cannot do everything. I cannot do everything. But I can do something. But I can do something. What I can do. What I can do. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. I will. I will do. Count on me. Count on me. Think about that. Count on me. Think about that. Who's counting on you tonight? Okay. Why don't you? When you want to point the wins and losses, but I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the it's most successful. Cool. I think the most successful part that we've done is I think we've turned out some pretty good people. So coach Long, Long, Coach Spade is, is an absolute honor. I've had the honor to coach Long and some great head coaches, and he's just another one who checks off that list. Confident is good. That's fine. Okay. Just make sure that you stay focused. Okay. Don't, don't lose your mind. Don't ever, 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 ever underestimate an opponent. Don't do that. These guys, guys, these guys got pride too, understand? There is nothing more they like. They, they're not, we're not kidding anybody. They can't beat you, they know they can't beat you. But, okay, it's not about that, okay? It's about us being perfect. What does culture and tradition mean to you? Well, culture is, like we talk about, it's acceptable norms. What's considered normal, what's considered appropriate, what's uh, how you're supposed to conduct yourself, just, just those kind of things, just what's right and wrong. Tradition, well, the sign we have is pretty much a tradition makes average players play better than they ought to, okay? Tradition is your pride and your past, okay? Knowing that you have, you have something to uphold, that you have, uh, that you're just the next step in a long line of steps. What is the culture like that Spate has built into Columbiana football? Um, a brotherhood. I mean, I played with uh, some people in my class that I probably wouldn't have talked to if it wasn't for uh, Coach Spate and his football team. Uh, and just keeping connected with the guys that I've um, played football with in the past, it's, it's really cool. What legacy do you think Coach Spate is leaving in Columbiana? Well, the legacy has definitely already been built. Um, he isn't even working on it anymore. The legacy is built. Um, if, if you say the Columbiana Clippers, Bob Spate's name is, is entrenched in that. Uh, he's built such a well-rounded program over countless years uh, that I think his players just remember him as being a type of father figure to them. Uh, so that's his legacy. The legacy is that he's a dad to hundreds of young student male athletes around this uh, Columbia and the Clipper community. What was it like to play under a coach with so much tradition? Um, it's awesome. I mean, I see players come back all the time just to talk to Coach Spade. Uh, the tradition here is awesome. I mean, we have where we walk out to our practice and we touch each one of the signs. Uh, that's been around forever. That's been around at least since I've known when I was in middle school. So it's awesome to have a coach with so much tradition. What is it like coaching alongside Coach Spade? Uh, you know, coaching along Coach Spade is, is an absolute honor. I've had the honor to coach along with some great head coaches, and he's just another one who checks off that list. But the way he treats kids, uh, the way he promotes living an honorable life, uh, he just teaches kids more than football that teaches them about life. So I think, you know, it's a blessing to be under him and to learn from one of the greats in this area. Being the starting quarterback for two years, talk a little bit about the special bond that you built with Coach Spade. I mean, being the quarterback, I had to spend a lot of extra time with him. I mean, he would take me out of my study halls and we would spend even extra time after practice just like going over plays. And so I spent a lot of extra time with him and we built a connection that way. When you retire, what would you want to be carried on from your time as a head coach? Well, there's some traditions that we have 
right now that I hope the next head coach, whoever that is, and any that follow kind of want to hold on to. I mean, there's some things we do. You know, we honor players of the past. JC's locker in the corner, I hope that always stays. Um, the general setup of the locker room, we put a lot of time into that. The weight room, uh, put a lot of time into those kind of things to try and make it a first class facility. You know, as far as, I, I, I hope our guys just continue to do the thing. I hope whoever takes over just continues to preach the thing about, you know, live an honorable life, you know, be humble, you know, be grateful, uh, you know, win with humility, lose with grace. I hope. How has Coach Spate changed you in a coaching or a personal standpoint? Uh, I, I go back to my answer on the previous couple questions is he's really taught me how to be a great coach without having ego involved. Uh, he taught me it's okay to have pride, it's okay to have personal responsibility in, in your daily excellence, but he's taught me to leave egos out the door and when you come coach kids, if you're not doing it for kids, then there's no reason you should be in this business. Important. What's most important to you as a high school football coach? Oh boy. Uh, just having, building the culture and building the tradition that people are proud of, that, that uh, Columbia is proud of, that, that we always represent what's good. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, just uh, being around being around guys and watching them grow, just being around guys and watching them become men. You know, that's the, the most important part. That's the most fun. I can tell you guys all the time. The only advantage to getting fat and old like me is, you know, the huddle just gets bigger. That's all. It just, you know, there's just more people in your huddle. That's the best part.